Hey guys, I am so excited to release this brand new series on how to design and code this colorful app landing page. Before we get into this tutorial, be sure to subscribe to Excel Pixel for more videos on design, code, and tech. Also, hit that notifications button so you'll be first to know when new videos drop. I hope you did it. Now, let's get started. Now, in this video, I'll show you how to design two landing pages right in Adobe XD. The first includes the iPhone X app mockup, and the second includes a trendy character illustration. Both of these app landing page versions include elements from earlier tutorials, so if you've been following along, it's going to be super easy for you to complete this tutorial. If not, there's still time for you to catch up by watching the earlier tutorials on my channel. As you can see, I've already added two artboards that are 1280 by 800 pixels. I've also added all the assets we'll be using for this tutorial, including colors, fonts, and symbols in the assets panel. Note that throughout this tutorial, we'll be using a Google font called Sourcesans Pro. If you don't have Google fonts installed on your computer, be sure to watch the tutorial I made on how to use Google fonts on your computer. The link will be in the description box below. Let's apply a background color to our two artboards. I'm going to use this light blue color. To help align our content, I'm going to enable the 12 column layout grid. The layout grid includes options to change its opacity level or color. Right now, it's a little hard to see the blue grid against the already blue background, so I'm going to raise the grid opacity for better visibility. Now that we've set up the artboard and grid, we're going to design the device landing page. First, we're going to design the header and navigation area for our app landing page. To do this, I'm going to first grab the Chatter logo from the Symbols library and align it to the left edge of the grid. As I mentioned earlier, this logo was designed as part of my two-part tutorial on how to design and prototype a messaging app. So be sure to watch the series to learn how to create this logo. Now, we're going to design the navigation menu. Hit T on your keyboard to grab the type tool. We're going to write out four menu items that are related to an app landing page. In this case, let's write Home, Features, Pricing, and Learn More. Select all four text objects and apply the semi-bold 20-point character style. Now, we're going to draw a yellow rounded border that's 140 by 42 pixels around the Learn More menu item. Select both objects and hit Align Center vertically and Align Center horizontally, and then press Command or Control G to group the objects together. Now, evenly space out the other menu items and align them horizontally. Also, be sure to align the menu items and logo horizontally. First, we're going to grab the text tool and write out our hero title for our app landing page. I'll write a smart messaging app for everyone. Now apply the bold 50 point character style to the text. Note that our main content area elements will all be aligned to the left-hand side. 
Below the hero title, we're going to draw a solid yellow dividing line. Grab the line tool and draw a line that's 95 pixels wide. Color it yellow and set its border size to 4. Now, grab the text tool and paste around three lines of lorem ipsum placeholder text. Apply the semi-bold 18-point character style to the text. Finally, we're going to design our call to action button. Grab the rectangle tool and draw a borderless purple rectangle. Now, grab the text tool and write a call to action. In this case, I'll write, go to App Store. Now that we've designed our main content area, we can add the final elements to our landing page. To add our final elements, we're first going to grab our decorative blobs from the symbols library and place it to the right of the main content area. Now, grab the device mockup from the symbols library and place it on top of the decorative blobs. I created this device mockup by exporting the messages app UI created in one of my previous tutorials and then placing it on this iPhone X device mockup. I'll post the links where I got it from on the related blog posts for this tutorial on exopixel.com. To design the second version of our app landing page, we're going to use the flat illustration we created from last week's tutorial. If you haven't watched that tutorial, be sure to check it out on my channel. Simply select and copy all the elements on the device artboard except for the blob and device mockup and then select the illustration artboard and press Command or Control V to paste it in place. Then, drag and drop the illustration from the symbols library to the right of the main content area. Now that both of our landing pages are designed, we can design the mobile versions of our websites. I always like to design a mobile version of my responsive websites so that I know where I want certain elements to be when I start coding mobile first. I'm going to add two iPhone X 6, 7, 8 artboards for both versions of our app landing pages. As you can see, I'm simply copying over elements, shrinking them in size, and doing small modifications to our elements to adapt them to a smaller screen.
there you have it. You've just designed two versions of a colorful app landing page right in Adobe XD. Stay tuned for part 2 in this series to see how you can code this design into a responsive website. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to ExcelPixel for more great videos just like this one. As always, thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next video.